Determine the difference quotient for f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. Recall that the difference quotient is generally defined as being equal to the function evaluated at x plus h, subtract the function evaluated at x over h. Now f of x plus h would be 3 by x plus h squared minus 5 by x plus h plus 7. x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Distributing yields 3x squared plus 2x, I'm sorry, that should be a 6xh, 6xh plus 3h squared minus 5x minus 5h plus 7. So then the difference quotient would be equal to, now I'd like to put brackets around the first expression and brackets around the second expression in the numerator. So that would give me in the first expression, in the first brackets, I'd have 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 5x minus 5h plus 7. Subtract the original function, 3x squared minus 5x plus 7, and that's all being divided by h. Now if you've done this correctly, several terms should add to 0 in the numerator. So I have a 3x square, and I'm subtracting a 3x square. Those go to 0. I have a negative 5x, and I'm subtracting a negative 5x. Those go to 0. I have a plus 7, and I'm subtracting a plus 7. Those go to 0. So the difference quotient begins to simplify as 6xh plus 3h squared minus 5h over h. Now we hopefully notice that there's a common factor in the numerator. And the common factor is h. So I can factor the numerator as h by 6x plus 3h minus 5 and again the denominator is still h. Since we have a common factor between the numerator and denominator of a fraction, we are allowed to remove that common factor. And so then the difference quotient is 6x plus 3h minus 5. Let's see another example. f of x is negative 4x squared plus 1. So again, we were asked to determine the difference quotient. Let's first find the function evaluated at x plus h. That would be negative 4 by x plus h squared plus 1. So that would be negative 4 by x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1, negative 4x squared minus 8xh minus 4h squared plus 1. The difference quotient, again recall, that is f of x plus h minus f of x over h, which would be Again, I'll use brackets to separate the two expressions. Negative 4x squared minus 8xh minus 4h squared plus 1. That was f of x plus h. Subtract the original function, negative 4x squared plus 1. And that's all being divided by h. Again, if you've done this correctly, there should be some like terms that add up to 0 in the numerator. Negative 4x squared 
negative 4x squared, if I subtract them, those go to 0. Plus 1, plus 1, if I subtract those, it goes to 0. So now I have that the difference quotient is negative 8xh minus 4h squared over h. Again, notice that there's a common factor of h in the numerator. So that's h by negative 8x minus 4h over h. Removing the common factor of h from numerator and denominator, we have that the difference quotient for this function is equal to negative 8x minus 4h.